Oh man, am I excited, dude! I've been waiting to do the Mercury signs for forever. <sighs> Finally here. Cool. Okay, so let's talk about Mercury. So, what does Mercury, the planet, represent? Mercury, in a person's natal chart, represents how they think, how they communicate. Um, you know, it's so funny. It's really, you can sum it all up into those two words. And it, yet, it doesn't speak to the huge influence that this sign, that this planet has for each individual. You're, you're, it's said in Western astrology that your three main signs are your sun, your moon, and your rising, right? <clears throat> it represents basically how, you, um, how your energies are overall, your sun sign, how you feel, your emotions, your uh, subconscious, you know, what, uh, yeah, all that, moon, and your rising. It rules the more earthy aspects. Um, as far as, you know, your body, it rules how you come across to others, uh, Yada, yada, yada. There's more to each one, but check out other videos for that. This is about Mercury. Mercury rules something that the other, that the first three signs don't rule. And I find it is absolutely as important to know the Mercury as any other of the three main signs. Um, I mean, it changes everything, you know? Your Mercury is how you take in information, how it and how it's released. Again, it seems so simple, but it's absolutely light years different from how a Mercury in Aquarius, for example, uh, more intellectual, more airy, more abstract, ideas-based, um, how they think, how they communicate, and say a Mercury in um, Pisces who is absolutely not intellectual at all, you know, not like that at all. Are they smart? Yeah, absolutely. It doesn't mean they're not smart. But how they think and how they communicate is in a very watery way. And so they're, they don't come across as a typical intellectual, you know what I mean, as maybe an air mercury does. Um, but that doesn't, again, it just means a different form of communication. It doesn't mean um, any kind of lack of communication or it doesn't mean that that person, no matter what their Mercury, doesn't mean that that person doesn't have something absolutely unique to say. You know, again, each person has their own unique message to give, and the Mercury sign in a in a chart. Um, so I'm just I'm so happy I'm doing this. All right, focus. Um, the Mercury sign in a chart really shows how a person thinks and communicates. Which can totally change the ball game, um, because a Mercury sign can be very different from the Sun sign. A person's Mercury can either be a sign before their Sun sign. So, for example, in the zodiacal wheel, it starts with Aries, ends with Pisces, and it goes in an order that's never changing. It's the order of the yearly season, the seasons in a year. However, you want to put it, you get my drift. Hopefully. Um, um, see, all that, Mercury in Gemini, that was Mercury in Gemini, uh, and I will explain probably why and stuff if I remember, which is also Mercury in Gemini, when I do Mercury in Gemini for vid, but, ah, man, I, I'm just always struck by, oh, ah, total digression, which is still Mercury in Gemini, focus, um, I'm always struck by how important it is to know a person's Mercury. Definitely. Total digression. A person's Mercury can either be their sun sign, for example, uh, Gemini. One before, in my case, well not in my case, but in the Gemini's case, for example, a Taurus. Because it goes Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, yada yada, yada till Pisces, like I was saying. Um, or the sign after. So in the case of, again, a Gemini, a Cancer. So this basically means that for whatever you... If you know a person's sun sign, you can narrow down their Mercury placement to one of three signs. House placement is a whole other thing. That's that's a more complicated read. Um, but again, that you know that can come in time too because you can just feel what certain Mercuries are. And, and 
You get, this is the most beautiful thing. If you know a person's Mercury, you know how to communicate with them. You know how to understand where they're coming from. Even if you know just a tiny bit, you don't have to be, you know, balls deep into astrology like me or anything. <laughs> um, you know, again, all that Mercury, that wasn't my Mercury in Gemini. That was Mercury in the house of Aquarius, which again, like I was saying, you could catch on, but that's a whole other thing. Even if you just know the differences in the elemental Mercuries, you know, you've got the, the four Earth, uh, sorry, three Earth sign Mercuries, Taurus, Mercury and Taurus, Mercury and Cat, Mercury and Virgo, four water sign, four fire, four air. Even that tiny little bit of distinction would definitely be infinitely helpful because you can now understand, okay, if I'm talking to an Earth type person, and you don't even, know how, you don't even have to know their chart, you can just feel with people, you know? Um, and if if you feel like you can't feel with people, well then, don't worry. With knowledge of the different Mercuries, um, you'll understand to an umpteenth degree. I definitely did not really understand it until I uh, delved some more into it and was thinking about it. So give yourself some time to kind of mull over these thoughts and ideas and whatnot. Uh, but... You know, like I was saying, if you know a person's an Earth Mercury, you know that they think with their senses, that they're practical, tangible. So don't be just, you know, talking about um, ideas and, and stuff like that so much like you would with an air. And don't be, you know, communicating with feeling and memory and emotion like you would with a water. Or, you know, you wouldn't also be communicating in a very um, idealistic uh fiery type mercurial understanding, you know, because my mercury and fires understand best when, uh, well, again, it, it, long story short, it, we'll get to all that in the other videos of mercuries and stuff, but even just knowing and having, not even knowing, but having a feel for people's communication styles, communicative styles, it's infinitely invaluable because misunderstandings are averted you know, I can't tell you, dear God, take it from me, from a double air mercury, which basically means I'm, I communicate, um, with people readily all the time, I love it, for example, um, you know, focus on people in general, you know, air mercuries are very much geared towards understanding human beings and, and communicate, communication and just understanding in general, really, but people are and a special point of interest, I guess you could say, for us. But, um, take it from me, man. I, I see misunderstandings all the time happen only because of the Mercuries. And I wish in that moment I could explain, no, you, you're saying this, but you mean this. You're really saying this. And you're saying this, but you really mean this. Oh, and you both are only seeing what you're saying, not what you mean. You know, miscommunications happen because... People think differently. They see things differently. They, a simple word will be taken absolutely differently by different energies, you know? This video, you have gotten a certain meaning from this video. It's assimilated or not into your life because of your energy. I'm guessing it's assimilated to some satisfactory degree because you're still watching. So that's cool. Awesome. But... Right. Each person sees things differently. This video is going to be taken completely differently by every single person who watches it. And, um, and in very similar ways to people who have other Mercuries, you know. For example, a Mercury in Gemini will no doubt watch this, be like, hey, I get what he's saying, and then go talk about it to a million different people. Um, you know, Mercury in Pisces might not even be necessarily listening to the words I'm saying, but they'll be absorbing the meaning. And, uh, They'll really like it when I do this. And it's very calming. And then, no joke, that communicates something that perhaps Mercury in Gemini, for example, would not see. Or a Mercury in whatever. You know? That's the most beautiful part, is communication and thought and, and all of it is so much more than what's said. It's so much more than the content, you know? It's, it's the feel of it. It's potential and what people see in it. I'm, I'm never cease to amaze at how important it is 
to 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 know your Mercury sign so that you're in tune with how you communicate and how you receive information. There have been so many times when a miscommunication that would have gotten me before. God knows I've been so many miscommunications as we all have. But um, after studying astrology and in particular Mercury's, I'm struck by how many times somebody will say something to me that would have offended me before or like hurt me or whatever, just something, you know, not, not something um, rather negative. And now, because I, I understand that some people can communicate so very differently from me, I understand what people are, are saying, you know, where they're coming from. And uh, I don't, I'm not bound by my Mercury. I think that's the most important thing to know about Mercury is um, once you're aware of it, you are no longer bound. You now understand a huge part of yourself. I mean, I feel like that, I feel that way about all the placements in astrology, but especially Mercury. And of course I'm biased because Mercury rules Gemini, and I'm a Gemini with Mercury and Gemini and all that junk. But take it from me too. Communication is everything. And communication happens so much more than just when somebody is talking and opening their mouth and making noises and junk. Communication happens in body language. It happens wordlessly. It happens without expression. It, um, it happens with expression, you know? It's so important to really be one with one's mindset, mind state, and communicative processes. You gotta know how you think, how you talk, how you absorb information, And I find that when you absorb these lessons and really take them to heart and realize that other people think and talk and communicate absolutely differently, you alleviate yourself of so much unnecessary chaos and, and stress and pain. And Mercury is... Um, as important as any of the other signs, any of the other placements. You know, that tiny little planet that revolves around the sun in 88 days, that has the most eccentric orbit, because it's Mercury, duh, and, you know, Virgos and especially Geminis, oh, all over the place. But um, that little planet is so important. So very important. So, um... May the fun begin. I'll be doing other vids naturally, as always, until, you know, until I'm dead. Um, but yeah, I'll be doing these videos of, uh, very soon. This is my next series. I'm very excited. I finished the Rising Signs. Now under Mercury's, which I've been so itching to get to. So, um, ironically, I don't think I have time for the first Mercury vid today, but I will do it. ASAP, and um, I really hope that you check out your Mercury vid, because I guarantee you, I promise you, that uh, even if you don't get, you know, the perspective or value or whatever from me, investigating your Mercury, it's worth it. So, um, you know, Google, find out your Mercury and your birth chart and Google, you know, what perspectives are out there about your Mercury. Find out more. And, um, Again, I, I promise it's worth it. So, <sighs> let me begin.